Hey there guys, uh, my name is Thomas, but you can call me Tom. Um, so, uh, this is a Call of Duty video on Nuketown. Uh, I actually ended up going 71 and 11 on this, uh, on this game, uh, mostly sniping. And so, uh, this is the first video for my YouTube channel. Um, still don't know yet where I'm going to take this channel, um, so bear with me. Uh, I think I want to do is, I was originally only going to make this a Call of Duty channel, but my roommates are trying to convince me to, I don't know, just tell you guys what I think and uh, just other things. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see where, where this channel goes, but um, I definitely want to include some other videos about like some of the stuff that, stuff that I'm doing and I'll, I'll talk about that later in this uh, video but I just wanted to introduce you guys about me and what I like and um, so yeah I'll, I'll start. So uh, I go to FSU, I'm a freshman and I recently graduated high school. I went to uh, St. Thomas Aquinas. I love my high school. It was uh, an awesome high school, and we recently just won the state championship in football. So uh, this year actually marks uh, uh, the seventh time we've won the state championship in football, and also it's the first year that cross country has won a state championship in the girls. So uh, I'll talk to you guys more about cross country later. And by the way. Uh, I was going to edit this part out, but I figured uh, I'd just leave it so I'd have more time to talk to you guys. Um, just so you guys know, this is not the smack rifle that I use uh, during this game. I was working on my diamond camo for sniper rifles, which uh, I do have by now. Um, so I was using the ballista, but the gun that I uh, always use for sniping is the DSR. Uh, I love that gun. It's probably my favorite gun in every single Call of Duty. Uh, and I always run with Diamond Camo. Uh, I love Diamond. Um, gold was pretty nice, but I've seen gold for in so many uh, Call of Duties that Diamond is just a fresh new look. And it looks really nice, since not a lot of people have it yet, um, since it's kind of still early. A little bit early. Uh, not, not too late in the Call of Duty season. So, um, movies are are probably the, my biggest things. I watch a lot of movies. Uh, I think my count is over 800 movies I've watched, which is a lot. And um, I would love to major in film, um, but I'll talk to you guys about that later in this channel. Um, some of my favorite movies are Avatar, Transformers, uh, Inception and Dark Knight Rises. Uh, really, really love them, those movies. And um, some shows that I watch is The Walking Dead, and uh, which is my favorite TV show. I recently started watching Breaking Bad. Uh, my roommates were really trying to convince me to watch Breaking Bad, and uh, I finally caved in. And I, I like the show. Um, there's I really don't like the main character a lot, which is struggling for me because I'm always for the main character. And just a quick side note, uh, that was a huge mistake I did uh, in headquarters. They just destroyed the headquarters and the headquarters were inside the house and I called a hellstorm missile and so when the enemy heard that a hellstorm was coming they all just all just stayed and I was able to not get any kills which was a bad move on my part. But it's fine, I ended up getting a lot of kills in this game. Um, so anyways, also I watched Game of Thrones, huge fan of Game of Thrones. I love that whole like fantasy era. Um, and I'm actually going to start reading the books now. Um, I'm only on book one. I definitely want to finish book three before season comes. Season three comes out, but we'll see if I'm able to do that. And... Um, Going on to books, uh, my favorite uh, series, book series, is the Aragon series. I read that when I was in sixth grade, 
and I just love dragons. Like I said, the fantasy era, swords, and all that stuff, magic. There's no magic in, in well, there's a little bit of magic in Game Thrones, not a lot, but uh, some, some magic. And um, uh, I love the Hunger Games. Uh, I read that whole series in about a week. And um, I, yeah, that's about it for books. Um, recently, uh, I've actually been having a lot more time because now that I'm in college, which sounds weird, you'd think that I'd have a lot more time in high school, but in high school I was actually really, really active. Um, like I said, with, uh, with sports, um, I ran cross country, and I'm like a big runner, I love running, and I'll touch base with you guys about running later on, um, but for those of you who know running terms, my uh, personal record for the 5k is 15 minutes and 55 seconds and a 5k is 3.1 miles um, that point one makes a huge difference um, it really does especially at the end of the race um, I ran the mile before and everyone always asks my mile time the mile time is actually really bad but I've never fully tried running a whole mile like I, I run I can run the mile under five minutes easily I've done that sometimes in races where my first mile is under five and then I have to run two other miles and I run them a little bit over five so I don't know I'm, I've just never fully tried a full-on mile sprint um, so uh, sports was huge in my high school like I said uh, we're like the dominant house uh, school my bad a house and in, um, in where, where I'm from uh, my junior year, we actually had three teams win the national championship. Yes, national championship, not just state championship. And so we were ranked as the number one uh, sports uh, school for high school that year. And um, uh, in high school, I was really active. Uh, I'm also an Eagle Scout um, uh, because I was part of Boy Scouts. And I'm proud of that. Um, it was a tough accomplishment. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, maybe I'll talk to you guys about my project. Uh, it was a very tough project. Uh, not the easier projects that other people are used to. And um, uh, sports, we had practice six days a week. And I did cross country and track and field. So it was a full year com commitment. I think I had maybe four weeks uh, in the entire year, uh, two weeks at the end of cross country and two weeks at the end of track to rest and then after that it was back to running and practicing so it was a long commitment but now that I'm in college I have more time to play Call of Duty and uh, just enjoy my time more. That's why I've been watching so much more movies and uh, books and stuff like that so I've seen, uh, I've seen my Call of Duty uh, game getting a lot better recently, especially in sniping. Um, so I love to run, and um, uh, that's, uh, everyone knows me as like the runner. Um, I haven't ran in a really long time, because I had to give my legs some rest, but um, the start of the new year, I'm actually going to start running again, and uh, train for a marathon, so we'll see how that goes. Um, getting to video games, uh, since this is a Call of Duty video, uh, I just wanted to give you guys an introduction about me so you guys got to know me. Um, I love Call of Duty, obviously. Um, that's my, that's always my go-to game. Uh, Call of Duty is definitely the game I spent the most time playing. It's in debate whether or not it's my favorite, um, game franchise. Uh, my first, my f probably my favorite game franchise is Ace Combat. It's um, an arcade flying game, and I love it so much for many reasons. One of the biggest reasons is uh, I love military planes, plain and simple. But also, that was like the first game that like I played on my own. Um, and what I mean by that is that 
like I've played Star Fox and N64 before and like other friends, but like Ace Combat 4 was the first game that I owned and played. So that also has a part of it. And then also I just love that type of game, just um, flying. Uh, I'll talk to you guys more about the air and skydiving and stuff like that. <coughs> so, um, there's always Skyrim. I love Skyrim. Like I said, that whole like era of swords and dragons. Uh, I love dragons. They're probably my favorite um, mystical creature. Um, so going back to my channel, um, like I said, still unsure of what this channel is all going to be about. Definitely going to be about Call of Duty. Call of Duty, 80% of the videos will probably be Call of Duty. <coughs> um, I'm also a big skydiver. I'll be getting my skydiving license very soon. I've made six jumps so far, and I just need to do uh, three more jumps, and uh, I'll get my license. My license. And also, I hate when that happens. That guy was just standing in the doorway. I couldn't move, and I ended up dying. And no, uh, quick uh, back to this video since I've, I haven't really talked to you guys about this video. But I love this sniping spot. Like right here, you can just crouch and just snipe people um, as they like are running through that like little corridor. I guess you can say. Um, that's my favorite uh, spot on this map. Um, I've gotten a lot of uh, clips from there, which you'll see later in this uh, video. <coughs> and um, so, to skydiving. Unfortunately, I have to have 200 jumps in order to... Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm really sorry this happened. Uh, my controller actually turned off, so the video shut off, but it'll resume in about a couple seconds. So, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay. So, to skydiving. Um, I have to have 200 jumps in order to film me, me skydiving. Uh, people can film me skydiving, but in order for me to have my own GoPro, I have to have 200 jumps. And that probably won't happen for a really long time. I'd say two to three years. So, hopefully, uh, well, not really soon, but by then, uh, I'll definitely put up some videos of me skydiving, and by then I'll probably be a lot better than I am now. I'm just, I'm literally learning how to free fall. And skydiving is not as easy as it looks. It's a lot of body position and, and stuff like that, but uh, don't worry about that. So, um, uh, going to Call of Duty, I basically, all I do is snipe. Um, Reese and how I got into sniping was I always ran assault and I just kind of got bored of it. I was getting such high kill streaks and then I wanted a challenge. It seemed like assault was just so easy and so I wanted a challenge and I went to sniping and I just I've just been getting so much better ever since and I don't know. Like if anyone my recommendation is if you get really, really good at, at like running assault or some machine gun, switch to sniping, and you'll see your game get so much better. Uh, um, whenever I like I pick up an assault rifle, I'm when I'm like sniping, like I just like with a sniper rifle and an assault rifle, like I'm pretty deadly. I'm still not like I guess you can say like super insane. I'm still working on like my trick shots. But this was a really nice clip I'm having right now. I should have got that fourth guy, but I ended up shooting him there. So that was a really nice clip that I've had. But um, also, I'd like to talk to you about uh, my friend. His name is Merkability. And uh, we're going to do some montages together. Uh, he's a friend I know personally, and he's also a really good sniper. Um, I don't have his YouTube channel yet but I will be having it very soon 